Matt Stevick. Ready to go. Round two gets underway on a Thursday night. Two of the gun teams, Richmond and Collingwood. Holding. Collingwood, Degoe. Collingwood home Degoe game. Holding. Jordan Degoe. Isn't it great to see Degoe and Martin both starting in the middle? Degoe. Short ball cut off here Hold by there. the Richmond Hold skipper in Cochin. Cochin immediately out wide, and this looks good. Gives Jack Graham Hold an there. opportunity here. So, Graham, so unlucky last year, wasn't he, with that shoulder injury late in the, man, late in the season? Bolton, start in round one. It seems such a long time ago. Adams waited for it a bit. Gisoldo did well against Grundy there, didn't he? He shoved him out of the way. High uh, contact, Collingwood. Thanks, Tom. And Dacos, who was good in round two, those couple of goals. He feels like he's submitting a place, doesn't he? Yep, he does. Slowly getting there, Bruce. Dacos, game number 19 for him. Up they rise off hands, the brilliant side bottom. Great handball, sets Taylor Adams a bit of a task. Here's Pendlebury, the skipper, just has so much time. He was in the middle of a trio of Tiger players. Side bottom by foot, Cochin again, looking for Majacek. Dugowie, Prestia got him. Cochin on ground level, short opportunity. The ball really pinging around here at the moment. Adams on his non-preferred side. What a great kick it was. Finds an opportunity with Phillips. They can keep going here, the Pies. If Main can just pick it up, went straight through him. Now recovers the footy and on the lead, knocked away by Graham. Here he is, the second gamer in Cameron and Hooley able to save the day. We can see what Collingwood's trying to do, BT. Trying to use the ball down the ground. Richmond have been able to turn it over. Collingwood have been able to win the ball back. Fascinating because they've both got different styles. We know Collingwood will try to pinpoint. Are their skills at their optimum given they've had so much time off? So Grundy gets to the right spot. Adams on the left boot going close. Might have drilled at home. He has the opening goal in round two. He's an important player, isn't he, Adams? I mean, he's so good in those big matches, and he didn't play a lot of footy last year, Duck. He's really a key, I feel, don't you? Yeah, he is a key. He gives them so much uh, so much depth through the middle of the ground, and he's a hard nut as well, and they will love that. A stoppage against the Tigers who are good in that area. So, good start for the Pies. They are fast starters. Well, the Tigers won't like this. That's just too simple. Grundy, far too easy. Two hands straight down to that man, Adam. And that's a really nice shot on his opposite side, but just far too easy. The Tigers, they were napping. So Taylor Adams gets the party started at the G. That bounce will be recalled from umpire Lee Fisher. Ground in immaculate condition, as you expect, with a 10-week break here. Grundy, Soldo, jumps straight at him, Soldo. Went under it a little bit, Brown, Cotton, great soccer skills to Graham. Dusty, the fend off, a little deliberate, deliberate kick out there to Hooley. It was well done. Hooley, high ball to half forward. In front, Maynard. Might have tackled Lambert a little high. Got rid of it. Conchin, well tackled by Phillips. Here's to go. His strength gave it to Madgen, who was always under pressure. And I think we'll have a ball up here. So for Madgen, just four games in each of the last two seasons. So he's halfway there already in this truncated start to this year. Grundy probably got the better of Soldo there. Quick pick by Prestia to about 35, 40 metres. First look really of revolt. Castagna tapped it on. Dacos over the top, taps it back. Roughhead has a missed a game and he sees it a bit. Back to Dacos, slick movement, good stuff. Howell with the blonde locks, doesn't get past Broad. Bubbling about a bit, BT. Yeah, Presti was able to move it forward, Bruce. Long, high ball. Here they go, the Tigers really applying the pressure. Rewalt was there. Cotton's been everywhere so far in this game. Little chip pick inside. Plenty of Collingwood players around. Main put his head over, but the moment he did that, he was trapped. Little hand 
handball gone from Crisp off to Pendlebury. Pendlebury wanted to go, nothing on downfield. Bought some time by going back towards Main. High kick to the wing. Well done by Lynch. Ground ball, Foston. Here come the Tigers again. He's good at that, Vlossen, isn't he? That bang rebound off half-back. It was good to Bolton. So too far out. So the twin towers, we've got Revolt and also Lynch. So he bangs it towards Lynch. And Howe just drifts across. Oh, what a weapon he is stuck back there. It's one of his great strengths, isn't it? He loves when players are in that wrestling situation. And he can be that third man up. But, but right now, Collingwood just looked that little bit sharper with the footy. I think Richmond just had a couple of fumbles. So... Good start from the Pies. You think generally Collingwood are a better skilled side? By, is that what you're saying or not? Well, Rich, well, they play more of a skilled brand of footy. Yes. They try to use the footy a lot more, as we can see now. Real slow build up here. They'll try to pinpoint. But they just look a little bit sharper. Callum Brown slowing things down here. On the half back line. This is on the members' side of the ground. Little nudge under there. Flossed and did it well. Sneaky. Rioli to Short, Short right on the boundary line, but gee, that's a crafty kick from Short. Brought a little unlucky that he didn't get the free kick for interference. Castagna, Grimes able to pick it up. This will go deep inside 50, not a great kick. Taken away, Castagna, got it deep for Jack. Hard one from there, didn't try for it. High ball, three on one, Collingwood's way. Guess what? The one was Martin, and that always makes a difference. Phillips to relieve. Doesn't miss too many targets, does he? I mean, Duck, you talked about Martin's prowess with the footy, didn't you, pre-match? Yeah. yeah, you don't often see him do that, Bruce. As I said, just Tigers just a little bit sloppy, a little bit fumbly, first part of this first quarter. And Collingwood prepared to go short coming out of the fence, aren't they? It's a keeping off a bit. Hawthorne did it so successfully over the years. Well, if you control the footy by air, Richmond then can't take it off you, so they can slow it down. They get those short chip mark and then start again whereas if you play that manic richmond take it off you so hoskin and then down the line grundy was the target so brown it's his second match and grimes what a player he is grimes yeah he's been very steady and one of the real leaders for the tigers imagine did well holding Majacek free here, hold by Floston. Too far out to score, I think, for Bodie Majacek. Yeah, just a touch, I think, BT. Uh, we, talk, we talk a lot about this guy, natural footballer. 55 metres out. Got a one-on-one -on -one here, though. That's a good one with the second gamer in Cameron. His parents watching this game from Albany in Western Australia. Just his second game of senior footy. Is that your neck of the woods, PT? Uh, no, a little bit further south than my <laughs> town, Duck. So just the one game for Cameron. Famously, wasn't it? Against Gold Coast as a swan, and they got beaten. Adams has already kicked the opening goal. Phillips has little kick. Grimes to Vlosten. And he measures it, so he gets the ball outside that 50. And oh. how good is it to see this bloke back? Higgins. This is one of the more remarkable stories. You'll see the scar through the night. A couple of brain operations. That kicked down the line. Main cuts it off. Yeah, and goes short to Adams. Wanted to shift the ball to Noble. Richmond able to cut that off. Adams now goes wide here. Majek had to really work over the top on that, on that occasion. Guys, part of the reason Richmond might look fumbly is because it is quite dewy at ground level and we know they like that contested style. So as soon as the ball's coming in off the ground, it, it is pretty slippery, whereas Collingwood keeping it in the air, it, it does have the opportunity to dry out. There is not a breath of wind, Holding. so super Richmond. dewy down here. You're right, Dave. It's Holding. Richmond, your ball. Slipperier than it looks. Van Solder. Empire Hayden. Devine here, giving it to Soldo. So Soldo at half back, and it's the man that Bruce was talking about before in Grimes. Little slider and just fiddling around with it on half back here. Hooley now. Haven't seen a lot of Hooley yet. I mean, he had the calf miss round one. There were some doubts about him. So close to two Norm Smith medals. Quite a remarkable career. Built it away by Moore. Good stuff. Like Dacos early, haven't you? Just missed the target. That was so good by Thomas on the up. Brown back to Thomas. Well, Pickett didn't put the tackle on. Wobbly ball. Difficult right, free kick. High tackle. So, Edwards just 
committed, wasn't he? And then That's crashed on. into the back of Phillips. Yeah, just fell over the top. Can't argue with that. Not a big goal kicker, but a big possession getter, isn't he? I mean, he, duck, he's missed a consistency, isn't he? He is. He's such a he's such a gut runner. So he opens up holes for other players by just running in and out of space. So he's a neat field kick. You'd back him from here. And this is an 8 out of 10 kick, you'd reckon, for Phillips. He struck it well, and Collingwood have kicked the first two goals of the match. Well, we talked about the short quarters, Duck, didn't we? And the fact that, you know, if Collingwood could get that little break early, and uh, they've done that, they kicked five goals to one in the opening match against the Bulldogs in the opening term. And whilst it's not a substantial lead, things are going the pie's way in the opening term. So Adams and Phillips, unlikely goal scorers, get the first two of the match. We'll have another look at the free kick there. It was just a little bit sloppy, but as Bruce explained, a very, very tight technique, isn't it? Yep. Small ball drop, yes. hot drop really low. Absolutely. Not a big distance between hand and foot. And, I mean, the greatest exponent of that is the great Tony Lockett. Yep. The ball drop was literally inches. Minimal. Yep. And yeah. that was a really, really good call from Bruce and a nice finish. So Hooley with his hands full there with Phillips. Play on. Beautiful bounce by Stevic in the middle. Soldo. Well roved by the opposition Ruckman and now Majacek was touched off the boot. That's why no mark was played. Pendlebury got it through the space. Here's the explosive to Goey. Little handball. Baker went in hard, was looking for the free. Nine. Nothing on there. Interesting that one with Majacek on a normal night. Would he have heard the call from the umpire that it was touched off the boot? Knew straight away that the mark wasn't going to be paid and might have otherwise been wrapped up. Soldo and certainly established himself as the number one ruckman. We, we guessed that was happening, didn't we, late last year, but selected in front of Nankervis. Cochin just bubbled it forward. Adams Bolton gets hold of him. Ball still in. I think he might be gone here. Ball, Richmond. Yep. Straight so straight Bolton to him, half back. Yes. It's early days, BT, now. but you feel like the straight Tigers need now, something Taylor. good to happen right now, don't you? Yeah, they need something positive. And I came here last night, Bruce, and watched Nan Kerbis play in the seconds and did pretty well. So it's good news for the Tigers. Here's Dustin Martin now at half forward. A little confused which way to go. Decides to go long. Right on the head of Lynch. Look at them line up. Rewalt from the side. How was able to equal that? Out the back, Lynch. Was that touched off the boot? It was. So Richmond's first score coming 12 and a half minutes into the first quarter. And Collingwood set up really well there, considering that was a fast play to Dusty Martin. He looked, he looked once, he looked twice, he had nowhere to go, and in the end only had one option, and that was long. And, Duck, you rarely see that. I mean, no, it was just... You don't. It was very different, wasn't it? It was very different, because we, whenever Dusty gets the ball, he's so assured with ball in hand, and we don't often see him a little flustered. It's like the mind was ticking. Yes. Now, hang on a sec, that's not game A anyway. <laughs> So Howes kicks courageous, a good one. Imagine. Gets a wide to Ruffhead. It's been a good pick up, Ruffhead, hasn't he? He's filled a big hole back there. It's a one strong minute. mark. Hoskin earlier. So rangy, BT. I mean, even then, impossible to spoil. He goes early, doesn't he? Yeah, he presents well on the lead as well, Bruce. He can stay back and take the pack mark as well. He's one of those in-betweeners, can be a genuine half-foot flanker, can go back to the square if you want him to as well. And he's been a great pick-up for Collingwood. Will Hoskin Elliott. So Richmond haven't lost a game for 52 weeks. June 13 last year when they were beaten by Adelaide. Since then, a club record 13 consecutive wins. They're under the pump early here. Hurley to short, lovely kick from short. Out to the comeback man in Higgins. High ball one on one here. Goes Howe and Martin, and Martin did him pretty well. Well, Howe got stuck under the footy, so Martin was able to use his footy, uh, use his body, sorry, against Howe, and that's not his great strength. He likes to jump at the footy. You don't see him beating one on one all that often, though, in that market contest, do you? Gee, Moore, how good was Moore there? A courageously across the front of the pack. It's another great example, Bruce, of the player that you're up against. And or even how, as good as he is, 
he thought this is dusty so he worried about the body rather than where the ball was and that's a great example just there yep. Wayne so Tigers deep into attack Revolt doing the ruck work how doing a bit of roving and then Maynard on the left he's done well on Rioli in the past Maynard Collingwood so Pies out here through Brown some famous names BT I mean these guys you know the Browns and the Dacos as I and the Moors at Collie. Isn't that great to yeah. see? It's one of the unique things of our game, Bruce, and we love it. It's something that American sport doesn't have, and it really is something we need to treasure as we go forward. Asprey there. Broad put his head over the footy, won the hard one. Edwards was clever, got her under Lynch, advances at another 30 metres. There's Martin again. And they'll get a rest here with. Just over five minutes remaining in the game. Dusty Martin. Both these sides, um, you know, whoever wins this tonight, you're going to be saying it's probably the Premiership favourite, certainly from a Richmond perspective, you'll say that. Lambert, and they go, I think it was Castagna underneath, it was Maynard there as well. Finished the top ten for Collingwood in the best and fairest last year, Braden Maynard, which is a great effort for this young backman. Yeah, his development, I reckon, over the last two or three years has been fantastic, hasn't it? He's not just a stop, he's a good rebound, he's got a long leg, we know that. Martin, good, but cut off by Noble. Little gift to side bottom. Side bottom usually so skillful. And that was in front of Brown. Good tackle by Broad, he's so quick, Broad. Noble bashing and crashing. And then side bottom says, just get the ball forward. Ball gets to the back. Dacos, clever. Well done. Little chip kicks a beauty to Phillips. He's got some skill, Dacos, hasn't he? Yeah, well, you'd expect him to have some skill, Bruce, as you mentioned before. It, it looked incredibly <laughs> poised, and it did. Yeah. Bruce, it was incredibly skillful. And just able to break a couple of tackles there, the Pies. And Richmond, we know their great strength, and, well, Phillips, he's had a, he's had a side. It was a great finish before. So can he kick a second? Dacos, five disposals at 100% in the opening term. That one, is it? No, oh, it's going to not quite come back and hit the woodwork. So Collingwood lead by a couple of goals late in the opening term. Well, they didn't get the finish, but we see there Collingwood are going to have two speeds. It's not just going to be kick mark. They were prepared to go fast then at all costs, just getting the ball moving forward. So Grimes, thanks Daisy. Ran level, Edwards penalty did well. To go from the side, decided to take it to ground now. He right. may have had no prior. prior opportunity. No, the no umpire prior. says no prior. Ruck six. Right, right. Imagine in tight there. Grundy. Down to Brown. Picked up by Cotchin in the end. Had a bit of it early in this game so far. Comes back here and immediately tackled was Dugowie. I thought he caught one high. Side bottom trying to take Come him on. on. Thank you. Just let a lot of niggle in there. Right, and Stack going. comes into Dugowie and let says, I'll have Ball. a piece of you. And Dugowie won't cop any of that nonsense. Nice to see early, Bruce. Ah, uh, BT. That would be some go. Stack and Dugowie, wouldn't it? Ball inside 50. Brown out wide. Here is Dugowie and can't quite get the angle. What sort of nick do you reckon he's in, uh, Duck Dugowie? We're always talking about sort of what sort of shapes he is. Yeah, we are. He looks, he looks pretty fit to me. What, what I loved about that, he had that little exchange as you spoke about, but then straight away, Push forward, and he got on the end of that to, yep. to have a shot at goal. Didn't go on with it. Knew he'd done what he set yep. out to do. and yep. Caused a little bit of uh, trouble and then move on. Bit of maturity, perhaps. High footy. Rewalt eyeing this, but in front. Good mark taken by Darcy Cameron. That was impressive. Well, that's what got him again, PT. They yep. said he's been marking the footy really well. So he goes inside 50. Plenty of Richmond players, Grimes and Soldo. Phillips put it back out in the space. Brown to side bottom. He's good on his left. He's good on his left. He's really good on his left. So Collingwood have kicked the opening three goals here. Remembering the short quarters, just two and a half minutes to go. And you love a player that can go non-preferred side equally as confident and steal side bottom. He's probably the best player on the ground here tonight in both teams able to do that.
fast starting pies. I'm not sure why all players can't kick on their opposite side. We saw Adams kick one of these at the start of the quarter and now side bottom, who arguably is one of the best on his opposite foot. And that is a superb finish. And that's why, kids, when you're practicing, practice on your opposite side so you can do that. Brilliant finish by Steele side bottom. Brilliant player. Great call, BT. He's sublime on both sides, isn't he? So Collingwood now get a real grip on this early. So they're three goals in front, couple of minutes remaining. Soto uncontested, Adams with that opening goal to Goey. Back to Pendlebury. And then Pendlebury, oh, so clever. Tries a torpedo, gets within about 20 metres. Cameron did a good job there, I reckon. My ball. He made a contest. And Pendlebury talked about the fact, yes, two Ruckman, but we're going to use the other one as a marking forward, as they do with Mason Cox. So, Grundy to try and work the ball to Adams. Adams to side bottom, try to sort of just whack it through, and then Cochin's kick on the left out wide. Castagna bubbling about a bit. Main cuts across. And what about his rejuvenation, Wayne? I mean, his first year at Collingwood was awful, and suddenly he's found himself again, hasn't he? He has. A lot of people thought his career was over and found himself on a wing, and his ability to get up and down the ground, and, and Bucks, he's just a, such a great role player for this Collingwood footy team. Integral. He was yeah. the leading possession getter in round Holding one the against the Dogs. Taylor Mate. Adams. Col Taylor Adams holding. No. Okay. okay, so that was slightly off the ball here for Adams, and they hammer it again inside two minutes. Collingwood fast start here. High ball. Flew high. Majacek couldn't reel it in. Here's Brown. This is Callum. Collingwood have kicked four. Collingwood have got four, and Damien Hardwick is a little worried. So nice... Dave, it's Mecca. ...stuff here from Callum Brown. Brilliant, wasn't it? He yeah. looks dangerous. Well, he spoke about Dadgos and his skill. Yeah. yeah. He got that from his dad. Well, his kid's got courage and skill from his dad as well. The thing about the, the short quarters is once you get that little break, there's no time to come yeah. back in the last couple of minutes of the quarter. Just thinking, Wayne, about Brown's contribution. Four score involvements, four contested, eight disposals. His crumbing ability in the opening turn's been enormous. Yeah, superb, isn't it? And just another cracking goal. Talk about uh, skill set. And now Collingwood, they've gone inside 50 10 times for that score. Richmond have been in eight. They've only had one effective disposal inside 50, Richmond. That's the difference in this first quarter. And their fans right around Australia are loving this, and why not? Adams crashing through. Tigers are just sort of hanging on here. He's They're a long way down in that prelim against Geelong last year, I know. Oh, we know how strong they can be, but this is a substantial lead. Though Grundy's kick's a bit lazy in the end. Stack cut it off, a late goal be handy. Takes Grundy on, gets away from him. Long ball to full forward. Collingwood with the numbers. Martin Moore gets across. Paddling towards the line to Roughhead. So the, the twin pillars back there bring the ball out. Roughhead, good little kick, finds Dacos. Dacos and Browns are everywhere at the moment. Yeah, and straight away, look at these short kicks out of defence. It's a real plan that Collingwood have got tonight and right now executing beautifully. Taylor Adams looking to go wide here. And that was Tyler Brown. Off hands it comes. They control it again. The kick by Dacos back inside. Good mark, Rundy. Here they go again. Another Brown involved. Gives yep. it off here to Majacek. The dribble forward. Flossed and saved the day. Did really well. Shoveled the handball to Asprey. And now Broad. Gee, they're on the back foot, the Tigers, aren't they? That winning streak BT talked about. 13 consecutive wins. An all-time club record. Three defeats at the MCG in their last 39. Now, it's very early in this match, but this is a substantial break Collingwood have got. You picked it up early, Duck. You felt they were a bit cleaner, didn't you? Yeah, a bit cleaner. They're, they're real, real plan against this Tiger outfit, as we've said already. They're just that short chip outside of their defensive yeah, Tom, part of the you. ground, so they're not Jack allowing Williams. Richmond to take Thanks, the ball off them. Straight That's out, one of their great strengths, Taylor, as careful. we know. Yeah, it's, it's been really interesting, that Richmond pressure that we normally see. I won't say it's not there. It just hasn't had time to, to be there and compose itself. So here go the Tigers just trying to stave off any other opportunity. And what an explosive...
of Collingwood quarter it was. Trincotchen was pretty good, and let's hope that's not a bad sign there for the skipper, Trincotchen. 4 one the pie's duck, and yeah, just, one behind. Just has to be an adjustment from the Tigers. As we say, we know that they can take the ball off when you're, when you're running the ball out of defence. They have to take the short kick away from Collingwood coming out of defence. Let's see whether that can transpire in the second quarter as they gather themselves together here. But it has been explosive. It's been all Collingwood's way. 4 one to Richmond, one behind. I think that's what they'll be disappointed with, the ease of what a couple of those goals in the first term. So a right grin from Martin here. Again, he starts in the centre square. You can see Dugowie opposite him. So Grundy probably advantaged slightly. He and Adams have been outstanding. Cochin belting the ball forward. Main held up in the tackle by Graham. Penderbury always time and space. Not quite the last dance for Penders, but... He's uh, getting towards the three or four there, last Richmond. years. It's interesting, Nathan Bruce. He's, he's definitely got another year beyond this year. He's oh, going to smash, smash a lot of records. And I was, I was just thinking, you know, basketball and Jordan and the, the way Pendlebury plays Jump the up. game with time and space. And we just saw it there, didn't we? Yep. No, quite remarkable what he's done and what he'll achieve. Edwards has kicked down the line. So Lambert to try and set something up. Just taking plenty of time here. Is Kane Lambert. Gets it on a nice angle. Grundy with the aggressive punch side bottom looking for a runner. Found it in Maynard. He had to get rid of it quickly. Did it well to Maine. Maine to Howe. And here they go. Bit of a fumble there from Moore. And the boundary line is a win there. And just that small piece of play there. You saw the Collie were trying to run the ball out. Richmond, OK, Moore had a fumble. If he doesn't fumble, they probably clear it. But when they run it out, Richmond want them to do that. They don't want those short kicks marks. The more cha chaotic it is, the better for the what Tigers, is isn't it? They, they can bash and crash and push and improvise. They've done it so well in the last three seasons. So contrast in styles, the two heavyweights. Point the man, arms around Collingwood. Right there. There's no question, these are the two Melbourne heavyweights in the competition. You can throw the Eagles and the Giants in at the start of this year. But these are Melbourne's heavyweights. Well done there by Asprey. Just worked his man under the ball. Hooley to Asprey, to Broad. Under pressure, he's hugging that boundary line. In fact, didn't quite get the result he wanted. And Maynard to bang it back in. So right in front of the Richmond bench here. Maynard. Long ball. Punched away, here's Stack trying to... Bust his way through with aggression, did pretty well, got to say, side bottom now. Little handball back inside, Adams, they find space out the back, side bottom again, Penderbury, and now Maynard, remember he's a left footer, got to get back on it, Dars, gee, that's a good kick, gee, that's a good great kick, he drew Cameron to the footy, Cameron didn't even know that's where it was going to go, and he was made to come at the footy. Gives it back to Maynard now. Maynard high ball. Here come the pies again. Good mark in defence taken by Edwards. Cut across well, didn't he? Good kick to Higgins. Remarkable comeback. Goal of the year a couple of seasons back. Belts that ball down towards Revol. Jim Moore did well. He was out of position. Side bottom. Back to Noble. Noble's little one. To Pendlebury. The general to Howe. It's a good balance for Collingwood right now. Howe doesn't get the kick right. It was a difficult one, but the bounce turned out to be OK. Maynard with a lot of the ball early in the second term. Sold a dummy, but it's hard to sell Dusty a dummy. Back to uh, Main. Martin can't quite bring him in. Castagna. Martin has to search. Noble overran it. Martin used his body really well. First time we've really seen Pickett. Gets within range. Sweet looking kick off the boot. And then Lynch will get a free Contact, kick, I reckon. Richmond. Yeah, got his arms, I reckon, there, Bruce. Took his arms. That well, was well done sort of by Dusty, wasn't it? Just a couple of... It was almost 70-30, and he was the 30. And he just was able to win the footy back and then attack the footy, head over it, got a clever handball out, and that's a free kick every day of the week. So 63 goals in his first season as a Tiger. Not 
far short of his very best effort. He and Jack didn't play a whole lot together last year, but he was a better player when Jack was in the team. Tight angle. Got it. Tigers get the first goal after quarter time. Good effort from Tom Lynch there. It was a good effort. And the thing about uh, drawing that free kick there, BT, if he doesn't attack the ball in the air, I'm talking about if he doesn't run and go at it, then Howe's able to go back and get a fist on it yep. without drawing the free kick. So really important that he came forward to the footy and didn't stand and wait. Bruce mentioning the 63 goals, now six, well... And that one there, 63 goals of last year. And that's a pretty good year if you're playing in a Richmond side, isn't it? 63. It is, because they, they share the footy so much. They're also unselfish. And Lynch is now a part of that. And that was, that was very clever by Lynch. He came forward at the footy to draw the free kick. If he'd stayed stationary, yeah. House has the ability to go back and just get a fist on that without giving the free kick away. Stevic. Soldo and Grundy. Presti have been quite ish. Nice little handball out there. Tigers away, but there's been Browns everywhere in this game. Grundy held on to it a bit too long there. Edwards now fired in. Lambert off to Pickett. Was going to try and turn him inside out. The little nifty kick there. Didn't quite get Castagna. Maynard to rough it under immediate pressure. Here comes that pressure from the Tigers. Here it comes. They're coming straight at you. Watch out. Grundy, cool. Got the handball to Howe. Look at this. The Tigers now starting to mount a challenge. But I tell you what, Bruce, the Pies have equaled it. Or Gee, better than that. How good was that, BT? I mean, Collingwood under great pressure, weren't they? And yet, reflex handball, reflex handball, used it well. So, out of danger. Kick to Marcek from Cameron. Marcek so well done to Pendlebury. First real good look at Elliot. Where does he go? He caresses it beautifully. And Phillips dribbles through a second for him. And Collingwood kick away again. Gee, their ability to transition the ball there right from the back pocket was so impressive. Yeah, I, Bruce, it was it was brilliant, wasn't it? Just their ability to, under pressure to maintain the ball from their back half right into their forward 50. And they were under pressure the whole way, but executed the skills beautifully under that pressure. Gee, Phillips, a couple of goals. Not the sort of bloke you think is going to get multiple goals in the opening half here. Yeah, he's probably should have had three. They've all been relatively simple shots by his standards. And have a look at this movement, PT, you called it, and it was just under pressure. You can see the Tigers, this is what they do. They come up, they leave their man up, immense pressure, they get one out, and then able to just use the footy, and good uh, finish by Phillips in the end. The impressive thing is they just didn't panic. They went under that frontal sort of mounting, surging Richmond pressure that they're famous for. It wasn't like the pressure wasn't there. No. They were just able to execute under yep. it. There is Cameron, handball out to Acos there, Cochin did well, good win for the Tigers there, Cochin, Hooley half pulled it, realised he'd made a mistake, went back hard again, here they come again, the Tigers, Mark Higgins Holt down low, Holt. wants to turn and go, he's going to send it long, here comes Lynch, no, it goes out Martin's way, Martin gets rid of Howe there, little handball, more, excellent work, got it to Crisp, Crisp going back towards the safety of the boundary and now finds Jeremy Howe. Got it from Madsen. Kick down towards centre wing. Short just over, ran it. To go, he ran the gauntlet. D didn't get what he wanted. Short wrapped up by Maynard. Gee, Maynard's had a good second term, hasn't he? Brown, that was good stuff by Higgins. His day cost. Talked about his opening turn. Dribbled it cleverly enough. Phillips has been a star, hasn't he? To the other guy, Dutt. Cameron hasn't looked out of place, the, no, the, the he hasn't. new guy. Yeah, he's he's looked all right, hasn't he? He has. He's looked very comfortable. And, and let's not take some credit away from Collingwood here. Their pressure back on Richmond has been just as good as what the Tigers have won oh, premierships oh. off. 
I mean, it's superb. When they've had the ball taken off them, they've been able to take it back off the Tigers. Scott Penderbury, his 15th year, 303rd game tonight, within 10 games of the record holder in the great Tony Shaw. Also will pass Bucks as the most games captain in about 10 games as well. Here's Baker. Some clear footy him for him. Just a little bit of time to think. It worked for him off the left. Didn't look yeah. deliberate, but it was good enough. Castagna into the middle. There yeah. goes the human oh, meatball yeah. in Dion Prestia. Nothing long for Prestia, so they just hold. Grimes back to Baker. Baker looks out wide on the southern stand. Here comes Lynch, won't get to him. Main did well to get it away. Dream that was interesting, Doug, because Richmond... Sorry, Bruce, dream start for the prize, but something that might mar it. Brody Grundy has gone down the race, so hopefully it's nothing too serious, but I'll keep you updated. Start a long way back, guys. Thanks for that, Daisy. So, they had to go back and retreat there, Richmond, a moment ago, didn't they? They'd they did. Done the hard kick, and yet Collingwood was so well set up. Back to Revolt. Here's Prestia. Just starting to slightly get involved. I think you mentioned, BT, you've been pretty quiet, Prestia. Yep, he has. He, he's been an incredibly consistent player, Bruce, Dion Prestia. I was having a look at him today. Four of his seven years in the top ten in the best and fairest. And the years when he hasn't been there, Bruce, he's only played like 10, 14 games. So... When he hasn't got an injury, he is a consistent performer, the reigning best and fairest for the Tigers. Always good to say in a premiership year, and I think the other thing about him, he plays so well in the big matches, doesn't he? His side bottom got it from Dugowie. Oh, he's so good side bottom, and he laces Elliot out. So Elliot, been quietish, interception here, Floston was able to surge forward. So the Tigers again looking to press the side bottom to tidy it up. Geez, so good side bottom. I love him. Cameron just possessed. Great Richmond. tackle. Rewalt. And once again, you saw there, Collingwood tried to go short. Richmond got the turnover, but Collingwood nearly won it back. That's what they've been, even though Richmond have got a couple of those, been so good at winning the footy back off them. So Grundy has just come back up from downstairs. We'll check in with her in a moment. Here's Rewalt. Beautifully weighted handball to Castagna. Deep in the pocket. Got him high. Richmond. That is a high tackle Thanks, from Jeremy, Jeremy Howe. So Castagna deep in the pocket here. No doubt about that free kick. A tough kick though here. If he's going to kick the standard drop punt, it's got to work left to right. And as you say, that's tough to do from this position. Well, the Tigers normally from here would go to the top of the square. They're always thinking about team. 40 metres out. It's a long way, and he does that. You're right, Wayne. Up he goes. Darcy Moore. Gee, that's a disappointing result, Duck. You've got yep. Lynch and Revolt forward 50. And they know exactly where it's going. And Darcy and Moore was the only one going for it. Only one that read it, wasn't he? Yep. But they may get it back here, Graham. So Graham to load it up again and get to a similar spot. More Tigers here. Lynch was the first to go. Ruffy got over the back. Crisp. Moore's little gift to Noble. Back to Maine. And this is where they were so good a moment ago on the other side of the ground. And Pendlebury. And again, BT, they get out of a pretty sticky situation. Quick transition here defensively from the Tigers, though, has held them up. They couldn't continue on the march, but you're right, Bruce. Scott Pendlebury, an outright superstar for the Magpies. High footy, just sends it down the wick to a contest. There's Hoskin Elliott off hands. Edwards, look away to Prestia. He tries to get rid of Phillips. Did pretty well in the end. Gained a little bit of ground with a handball. Main, brilliant to side bottom. Noble standing. Little left footer around the corner. Down the line. Hoskin Elliott was there. Grimes beat him. Now Edwards, slicing ball. Good looking kick. Picked up here by Bolton. Handball over the top. They found the space. Castagna this way, that away. Beautiful. Oh, Oh, the Tigers were great in that passage. They're just able to control the footy, weren't they? And the use of the footy. Inside 50, which hasn't been their strength. They have not used the footy well going inside. and well, Without stating the obvious, this is a big goal. Boy, do they need this. Yep. Lynch for his second goal of the quarter. You can see the time. Under six remaining. 
needs this. The Tigers in desperate need here, and he has got it. So Lynch has got a couple. The Tigers just starting to get themselves into this game. Tom Lynch gets his second goal here within 18 points. Hooley's had nine along with Cochin and side bottom has been the most outstanding on the ground with 16 touches in this game. The interesting thing at the moment is, is Grundy. Gonna go to Daisy, check him out in a minute because they can't afford to have an injured Grundy on the field. Down to you, Daisy. Well, he's just returned to the field, BT, so we can see him here getting a bit of treatment at quarter time on his side there, but he did uh, take his place on the field at the start of the second quarter. He was out there for about six minutes before going down the race, so whether it's related to that or not, I don't know, but we'll keep an eye on it now that he's back out there. Yeah, it didn't look, uh, didn't look too serious, did it? He's, uh, well, he's up going up in this contest, Bruce. Just a little lift from the Tigers in the last three, four minutes. Yep. I think we've all filled it, so can Collingwood would respond. Brown's quick kick forward. Oh, my ah. check. Almost unopposed. He reads the ball, Wayne, so well done. I mean, that was a floater, not easy, but he gets in good positions. He does, he, he, and we, we say it week after week. It's been, a, been an unbelievable, been an unbelievable player ever since he's got into this team. And Richmond won't be happy about that because that is just an easy mark straight in front of goal. He's still on the rookie list, so he's not costing them a the whole lot, and he's been good value. Has he got it home? He's missed it. Missed. Kicked three goals in the opening game of the season against the Dogs. So Phillips missed a fairly easy one in the opening term, and my checks missed a pretty easy on, one contact. there. Back here, Richmond kick. Trent, you got the ball. Got the ball, thank you. Try to play on. So Bolton quickly off. That's not a great handball, but that is a great handball from Hurley. He opens it up to Cochin. Couldn't get a crack at it, Stack. Yeah, well Gee, done, Hal. How good was Hal there? Yeah, well Wayne. done, Hal. He, he just positioned himself beautifully. Didn't give away the free kick, just put himself in the road. Imagine. Out wide, there is Grundy. Ball knocked down, Maynard. Quick little handball here. Brown, good smother Asprey. And that gives the Tigers another chance here. So they are just mounting and they're starting to bubble and get everyone excited. Damien Hardwick, tense. The three-time Coleman medalist waits to come back on in Rewalt. The tackle applied on this occasion by Pickett. Marlon Pickett. Sensational debut last year. Grundy. Here's Martin. Gee, if he comes into the game in a big way now, things can change quickly. The Pies going up towards half four, but I tell you what, Tiger's got superior numbers. Here's Pickett. Shovel the handball to Martin. Martin needs to get around Brown. Does that, but the kick was hurried. And Maynard. Yeah, once again, Dusty just hurried a little bit. And we've already spoken that don't usually seem under those circumstances. Maynard just overcooked it a bit, there gets to another half-back flagger and Hurley, here's Martin. That's better. Oh, that's better, Duck. Yep. That's good service. Castagna bubbling about, kicks to the top of the square, Lynch against Howe gets across and Chris sees the ball roll over. Next minute, massive, I reckon. Yep. I mean, Richmond pressing, pressing, pressing. If they could get within a couple of goals at half-time, they're going to put themselves in a position to launch. That kick from Castagna needed to be more to the right, so Lynch could really attack it in that open space there. Instead, he was drawn back towards the middle of the ground. Let's have a look at Steel Sodom. Side bottoms Telstra heat map, and you can see there his work rate, 17 disposals. Kicked the goal, that left foot goal in the first turn, but look at the work rate all over the ground he works. The Telstra track are looking good for side bottom, that's for sure. Just here. Grundy. You need a tracker to track him. You do. He's he all over the ground. place. He is a great player. He will end up almost in the Pendlebury oh. mold, side bottom. Here's Pickett. Play on, play on. 
Maine plays on around the corner. Gee, they're starting to find a little bit of space now. Maine, what a I leap it was okay. over the top of Higgins. That half back, Bruce. That was impressive. He's 31 years of age. He's got real spring in his step, Maine, has he? Gets to Crisp, to Howe. Careful kick. Gee, that's a good mark. That's the Hoskinelli we talked about. He's so rangy. He's difficult to spoil, isn't he? Good Dukes, Bruce, hasn't he, on the yeah. lead? No, he has. His mansion. It was a high draft pick, very high draft pick. He's had a solid career. It's a mansion. Just sort of a defensive kick getting in the forward half of the ground. So Collingwood with a chance to catch their breath. That's impressive. Good mark. I think that the fact that it was on Higgins, probably not the tallest guy <laughs> on the ground, but he tell you didn't get as excited as what you normally would. No, because I was counting that factor <laughs> into my calculations. Here's Cotchen. Nevertheless, it was highly skilled. Look at side bottom. Speaking of highly skilled, footy inside 50. In front was to go, but Mark, did well Darcy, pick it. Play on. Plays on. Want to get it moving quickly here, the Tigers. This one's out wide. Rewald, I think it was, trying to knock it down. Noble got the little handball back to side bottom. Side bottom, the inside outer. It'll stay in the field of play. But Grimes away from the dangerous Phillips. To side bottom, 19 disposals. When you looked at round one, only one really senior player got personal best in disposals. That was Saad. Short and quarters, harder to do. Side bottom's on for 40 tonight in this shortened game. And he's using nearly all of them to go. He gets a free kick. Collingwood. On the 50. Has he got the length here, Duck? He's, uh, he's right on 50 uh, to go. He, he's, got, he's got the legs. And you can see there, what, what creates that free kick is he's on the move. He's not stationary. And if you're on the move, you create panic. And that's exactly what happened. Lambert giving away the free kick. Just created panic by hitting the ball with velocity. So pretty big kick, isn't this? I mean, this to give Collingwood a four-goal advantage going into half-time. Long ball, not quite going to get there either way, accuracy or distance, but... You probably think the players, Bruce, because of the time off, would be shorter in their kicking, given that they haven't done a lot of it. No, it's a... One we'll keep an eye on, Duck, and a good point. Gee, Rioli's been quiet, BT. That oh, little chip pass effective. He has been very quiet tonight. That was just his third touch, Bruce, as Rewalt now slides this one down the line here. Higgins was there, needed a little bit of help. Edwards was that help. Look at the Collingwood jumpers around this, but somehow the Tigers still win. They live to fight another day off hand. Soldo, clever little flip, got it to Lynch, took a while to get it to the boot, but he's nailed it. Richmond have kicked three goals to one in the quarter. They're on a surge here, the Tigers. And with 30 seconds remaining in the quarter, Nathan Buckley not happy on that occasion. So Lynch, he was a little slow in getting it to foot, but just in the nick of time. And he's kicked three in this quarter, yeah. all of Richmond's goals to keep them in the hunt, back within 14 points. Yeah, good call, BT. You can see he didn't exactly know how much time he had, did he? He thought he had a little bit more time than what he did and was lucky to get a foot to it in the end. But as you said, three goals now for the term for Lynch. He's got a good record, Duck, as a Tiger against the Pies. He kicked five in round 19 last year and three in round two last year. So he's gone eight in two matches prior to tonight. Yep. I think he's been on Roughhead in all of those matches. There's a bit of talk tonight about who gets him more or Roughhead, but that is a massive goal. A big swing in the game. Pendlebury, a lot of the ball like side bottom. Kicks the half well, forward. Cameron did pretty well at the back. Phillips has well, been very good. Thomas had it. Rushed away from him. Baker, Revolt knew the troops were coming. Rough head, wobbled forward, and we're almost at half time. So I reckon Richmond have done a good job to get back here. Yeah, great tackle from Rough head there on Revolt. Stopped a certain inside 50 for the Tigers. I don't think the Tigers or the Pies can score with just a few seconds remaining. Cotchen's going to give it a go, but it was a good comeback quarter from the Tigers. The Pies kicked the opening four goals of the game in the first quarter.
And the Tigers were able to kick three goals to one in that second yeah, quarter. They took away that control out of their defensive 50, those short kicks. They made the made Collingwood run the ball out, which allowed them to put them under pressure. And Lynch was huge, wasn't he, with yeah. the three goals? He was indeed. So a really good half of football remains tight. Just a 14-point lead, nothing at all in this game. Dusty Martin has been good in patches tonight as well. Hooley with 12 and Cotchin with 12. Side bottom with 19 and Chris Mayne following up his great first round where he is the leading possession getter with 13 touches. Let's go down to Daisy. She's down there on the ground. I've got Steele side bottom who's been a star so far. Steele, the dream start. What was going right in that first quarter? I think we just set up, set up very well. They didn't really have uh, much room to go and we know they like to get it forward and sort of stream onto it but I think they were just running in their numbers so just being able to set up and play it in our forward half. And they were able to generate some of that speed on the ball in the second quarter. What do you have to tweak now to make sure they're not as dangerous going forward? Yeah, well, of course, it's going to be on their terms at times. So I think the way we set up the ground, if we can close off close off the middle of the ground, it's where they like to go, then it'll set us up and be able to keep going in the second half. And three months out of the game and a short run-up, how are you feeling condition-wise? I actually feel... Feel pretty good. I think that your stats the, would suggest that too. Yeah, the shorter quarters might be the might be the trick, but we've had good prep and um, hopefully we'll run the ash solidly. Well, good luck in the second half. Thanks, Daisy. Daisy having to get the fast step to keep up with such steel side bottom, who was brilliant in the first half of footy. The leading possession getter on the ground with 19. Half time, it is Collingwood by 14 points. No short under pressure. So we're about to find out, aren't we? The start of the second half, it's perfectly poised. The slight underdog, as formidable as they are, lead by a couple of goals. Hi, Collingwood. Lucky, just be careful, mate. Easy. Brody, thank you. Thanks, such a force in that opening Thanks, term, guys. particularly. So, kicks to full forward. Broad got oh, caught oh, under it. Marcek made a good contest. to go in from the pocket. So he's had three shots on goal, B2, tonight. He, he sprayed a couple and he missed a set shot. So three shots on goal for Dugowie. Gee, uh, Brody Grundy off the ball there. Oh. Came under some attention from Cotchen as well. They were really serving it up in hip and shoulder fashion. And beautiful stroke of the footy there from Hooley and a good grab. And Broad has just winded himself a little. Tough as nails, though, back to his feet. And here they go. The super boot of Hooley back inside, not so good this time. I'll play on. And this allows the Pies to get cracking. Main was looking to shepherd the ball, I think, then didn't quite work for them. Picked up by Ashbury. His little grubber into the middle of the ground is dangerous. Oh, the quick hands by Higgins. Superb. And now Edwards. What about that handball over the top of the head from Lambert? Main to tidy it up for the Pies here, Duck. Yeah, well, Lambert was the one that got the turnover, but then, uh, well... Probably wouldn't like that millionaire stuff over the back shoulder. Gee, Pendlebury just spread it so cleverly there to Maino, didn't he? Now Cameron. A couple of times he's done that, he's given it back to Maynard. And Elliot with those lovely hands against Frost, and that's a good contest. And Collingwood pushing forward. The reason why they love Lambert, you saw that handball, it probably a little bit critical, but it was yeah, it was a million dollar handball. Yeah, it was. But his work rate up and down the ground, that's why they love him. Yep. So here we go, forward pocket boundary throw in. Solo with the front position just tries to knock it forward and then a little slipper to help it work forward as well. Well done from the big man battling in there. Prestia nailed in the tackle, so ball up. Taylor Adams, the tackler. Aiden Gavine, the umpire in charge. Soldo, beautiful tap down to the feet of Lambert. Quick hands by Hooley. They're out here. The Tigers are, are they? Broad's kick is really important. Got it over the head of Maine. Now Maynard it was in there. Little handball comes backwards. Moore was there waiting. Surging long ball. Broad's got a mark. Under attention from Bryant. Uh, Brody Meyer check and he does and, and once again he's winded that, himself and that's twice Broad has taken a mark where he's had his feet taken from under him a lot of players in that situation they'll take their hands off the footy to brace for that for contact with the ground but he's got that much courage he just takes it all the way to the ground and he's hurt himself twice twice in two minutes Bruce he's had the stuffing knocked out of him but it does take courage to keep your hands on the footy yep it's been impressive hasn't it yep 
He stood his ground and kept his eyes on the ball. I reckon the other thing, Duck, that's happening, H H Hooley's starting to get a bit of a footy. Yeah. Basher, he's, he's the danger, I think, at half-back. He's just starting to get a little bit more of the football. Chris did well. More run down. And now Bolton with the advantage paid. Where's Lynch? He's been so good at that opening half. Rough head with him. Martin braces his back. Is he within range? Dusty hooking back. It's going to be all. Oh, is he kicked it through, Higgins? I reckon it's a goal, isn't it? Blair, it's behind. Can we can check and see if Higgins kicked the ball before across the line? Score review. Umpires clearly the behind there. Please check oh, that it wasn't kicked through. So the drink wise underway. score review here. F. Swap. Yeah. Don't know whether they can give it a goal from that, can they? Don't think so, and I don't think the no. boots made contact there. I so think I think this will be a quick decision. Yeah, it'll be behind BT, but one complete. of those ones. Looking at this angle, you can see the ball clearly comes off the Collingwood defender last before crossing the back of the goal line. Decision on the scoreboard. There you go. So uh, one of those ones though for Higgins, that, that's going through for a goal. So unless you, you've got to gobble those up, he, he could have easily let that go, but decided to mark it. And he was in his right to mark it. The mistake he made is he dropped a, an easy an easy chest mark. Yep. Jack Higgins. Good to see him back, by the Great way. Great to see him back. Major, major surgery. You can see on the left side of his skull there the scars. And very brave man to be out there doing what he's doing. Picked up by Bolton. Bolton, good centering ball. Lynch going back to him. Moore was great over the top as well. Jeremy Howe went the longer handball. He knew Higgins was closing. Maynard under pressure. They're not out of trouble yet here, Collingwood. Howe got it to a one-on-one. -on -one. The two Ruckman there. Neither could touch the footy in the end. Knocked out in the way of Lambert. He controls it. Brown's got good legs, though. Was able to reel him in. Now Hooley forward. High ball. Couldn't mark it. Rioli ran past it. Dacos gave it to side bottom. And side bottom goes to the middle. But the Tigers live to fight another day as Prestia's kick is cut off by Pendlebury. That's a disappointing result, PT, because they were pressing hard there, Richmond, weren't they? Pendlebury kicks to the centre, asks a little bit of Dugowie, but it's the right man to ask a little bit of in that situation. Now, Elliot on the end, maybe of this, not quite. Grimes, Hoskinetti gets down low, over to Phillips. Phillips rode the tackle. He knew it was coming, and now he's trying to disguise it. And he's been able to win a stoppage. You can just see that manic pressure building and building. We spoke about it in the second term. Richmond's pressure really putting Collingwood under the pump now. And Callum Brown, who had eight disposals in the first term, BT, hasn't had a disposal since. Since. Gee. Thank you. That one is one of the Browns. That's Tyler. He's just a little taller and a little leaner than Callum. Grundy, Pendlebury, side bottom. All the big hitters in that passage for Collingwood. Hoskin Elliott took him on. Gee, Bolton should get the free oh, here. Richmond. And so he does. Else. Thank you. It'll be Bolton or Rioli. Rioli it will be. So he needs to come into the game. Just his fourth touch of the game for Daniel Rioli. We know what he's capable of. Oh, Darcy. Thank you. Ashbury back on the wing, right on the Toyota. Footy, oh, what a feeling. Logo, haven't they been great supporters of the AFL? High footy up goes Maynard over the back, off hands. Dustin Martin has been lurking and been thereabouts. He's getting himself, I feel, Wayne, into more dangerous positions. We saw that shot a moment yeah. ago with Higgins. Yep. And we said that at half time, Bruce. Uh, I mean, we know that that's where he's most dangerous, isn't it? Anywhere from front of 65, 70 out, he's capable of uh, kicking a goal or certainly setting one up. Graham just overran it, pressed here, fished it out, and quick off the okay, mark, Jack. as he so often is Howe. It's a good defence, isn't it? When you've got Howe and Maul and Ruffhead, they're all big, but they can all run, they can all move, they can all cut the line, they read the ball well. Crisp. Didn't get exactly what he wanted onto it, and Vlostam takes the mark. 
So he's just fought of the centre wing here, Floston, as you can see. Play on. Short little ball here to find Baker. Right. Liam Baker in game 24 for the Tigers. Very slow, so everyone's stagnant down the field, so he just bombs it as long and as deep as he could. Good punch away in the end by the Magpies defender in Pendlebury. So Dustin Martin with the free here. As he centres this ball, it's a two-on-one, though, and it'll give the opportunity here for the big fella over the top in Cameron to take the mark. Can they keep going here, the Pies? No. Quick defensive transition from the Tigers has pushed them sideways and just held them up here. I reckon there'll be a few nods of the heads in Albany right now, uh, BT, yes. with uh, Darcy Cameron's parents. They'd be thinking, our boy's going all right tonight. Well, the thing about the mark he took there, Bruce, was he, he didn't even think about spoiling it. Had the confidence to put the Dukes out and take it in his hands. Yep. Dacos to Pendlebury. Two of the greatest names in the history of the club. So Pendlebury down the line. Grimes cuts it off. Low scoring, tight. Collingwood made the early surge. Richmond have pegged them back ever so slightly. Graham to Higgins. I know it's an old cliche, BT, but I'm full of them. The first goal in this second half is pretty important the longer we go on. Yep, it is indeed. Floston, it's true. That's a great kick. It is to Cochin. Cochin now able to go. G. Brown, lucky he didn't infringe there. High footy from the side. Chris, another good, one of those good defenders that Bruce spoke about there. Very reliable indeed. Side bottom bursting out of the scene there. Gives the handball off to Dacos. Dacos trying to thread the needle there to Majacek. Presented up. Strong play from the Tigers, though. Thomas keeps it alive. Majacek has a second go. G. Quick hound from Brown to Thomas. Thomas trying to squeeze the trigger on a little one. They turn it over. Edwards handball creative, but not necessarily accurate. Through comes Chris. G did well. Fending off while falling to the ground and getting rid of the handball. Spot on, BT. That was good play by Chris. <laughs> Strong mark by Ashby at the back. Cochin. Careful kick. Half uh, volleys at the stack. Tigers building. That one missed by Pickett. He's normally got... Well, I say normally, but he's seen it three times. That's what I know. <laughs> Pendlebury into the centre. Over the top, Cameron back to Pendlebury. Beautiful hands to go. He didn't attack the goal. Decided to go wide, and that is a really good mark. I know he had the edge going for him, my check, but he's taken a solid mark. Plays on, not sure if he should have. Bouncing, bumbling ball. Little give by Edwards in the back half, and the Tigers get out. They do indeed. This is Higgins. But he's kicked it out of bounds on the full, so this will be imagined free. He was just caught in two minds then, Maya, yeah. check whether to go or not, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he thought he was just that little bit too far out to, yeah. to have a set shot. Yep. So this is Madgen. High footy inside 50. Soldo with the fist there. Grundy, a later rival. Stack to Hooley, impressive. On to Higgins. Higgins through. This is one of the rare times they've gone very, very quickly. Now they've got to do it. How under attack here from Martin. Martin just throws him out of the way. He said, get out of the way to Maynard. And guess what? How came back for a second bite and really nailed him in a strong tackle. Well done, Jeremy How. Great stuff. The Tigers stay alive and they're into the ground. Look at that. And that's what their reputation and that's what their premierships are built on. That passage of play right there. They won, They had the footy, they lost the footy, and now they get a stoppage. All through pressure. Good stuff, BT. That was a great contest with Howe and Martin. And now Cochin squeezing forward. Heard the call, so side bottom had to quickly get it away. And this is the guy that's starting to get the ball in his hand. His numbers are building. That one's a defensive kick. That's OK. Collingwood won't mind that. You can see the way the Tigers now setting up. That rush kick from Collingwood out is landing in, Col is landing in Richmond arms. So Ashby, not a great kick. Didn't give Lynch much of a go. And how just such an athlete. He goes early and belts the ball away. They've done well, the Pies, considering because... We've talked about that pressure building, 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 but they haven't allowed Richmond to put that pressure on the scoreboard. 
Wonder what that conversation was about. Duck with Dustin Martin and Damien Hardwick. Here's Brown busting away here. They've just scored a point each so far in this quarter. We've played 13 minutes of it. Now Penderbury. So a tight, tight quarter here. Richmond. And this will be an Asprey free at half back. Looking down the line, nothing there. Short sideways. Floston, can they get out and some, find some open track here? Baker now, another short little ball. So the completion of the switch to Graham. Graham goes short and finds Higgins. Higgins getting plenty of the footy at the moment for the Tigers. Has had it ten times. Goes down the line with a high footy here. From the back, couldn't mark it. Over the back, look at the Magpie numbers, three of them. Howard and Noble. Noble to Dugowie. Dugowie into a very, very dangerous position. Penderbury's there. Nice little soccer. Gee, what about the quick give from Dacos? Ultra, ultra impressive. But it's going to come back, Bruce. Gee, has been good, Dacos, BT. That was a, a very good pick-up. Here's Short. We know he's a metres gain man, good kick to Lambert. That pressure building, building. Tigers slightly on top in general play, I feel anyway at the yeah. minute, but not getting any reward. Revolt goes early, Lynch there, ball squeezes to the back. Grundy knock on the knee in the opening half. Back to Howe. Howe sweeping as he so often does. A short half stop that here's Brown. We talked about his great opening term, quiet ever since. Little handball, OK. Side bottom's been wonderful. And another stoppage. Now, being able to under pressure again, Collingwood. The, how has been a real thorn in their side, the Tigers, because every time they look up and they want to go a little bit quicker, Howe's standing in that hole and he reads it so well. So knocked down here, Grundy. Pressed here. So still no goals kicked here in the third quarter, just four and a half minutes left of it. I think what we're seeing, BT, is the, the short run-up setting in. Serious fatigue for both sides. Collingwood camped back in Richard's, Richmond's forward line. That's why Richmond are finding it hard to work their way through and score. But by the same token, Richmond turning it over. How often do you see Richmond forced into slow play on turnover? They just can't get the ball moving. Yep, some good points, Daisy. Thanks as Cochin sends it out of bounds on the full. Maynard. Now, who can find a gap in this noble? So you see it here again, BT. Even though Collingwood doing a great job in defence, because they're all camped back, they're not able to put Richmond under pressure going forward. They just don't look like they've got the energy to, to really oh, attack from this position. Adams. Grundy slipped over, but time to recover. So good foot skills getting them to the wing. Now Grundy with a nice, neat little ball. Finds an opportunity here with Jamie Elliott. So Elliot, cautious, hugs a little bit of boundary line. Up they fly, Chief Brown, great leap, Tyler over the top. Pickett almost threw it out. Nice knock on from Baker to Hooley. He was nailed in the tackle. It was a good tackle there by Elliot. Umpire lets it go. Ball knocked out the back door. Phillips spilt from him. Dacos, Grundy didn't connect with the handball the way he'd hoped. Well done by Prestia. Just knocked it forward. Noble, does he keep it alive? No, not on this occasion. Still not a goal. You see, Duck, you see a player one night. I reckon Dacos, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing the emergence of something. I don't know about you. I mean, it'll take a while. It'll take a while. But he's really part of it now. He's got something, hasn't he? Yep. And he's, he's grabbing, you can see he wants to grab this opportunity with, with both hands. Brown in the same situation. They've both been in and out. They're both young men but really starting to grab their, their spot in this side. Absolutely. So Cochin scrambles the ball forward. Noble never quite got what he wanted on that. Baker to cut it off. And again, another inside 50 for the Tigers. Big leap at the back from, Le uh, from Revolt. Nothing happening quite. Bolton, was he held on to? I think so. Richmond. played for it a little bit, may have hung on for just that little bit too long, but played for it and got it. But they're under immense pressure, Collingwood's defence. So Tigers, to get closer than they've been 
for a long, long time. He's got it home. So the first goal of the second half, it was a long time coming. So, what, BT, you're probably... What have they done? Have they kicked the last three goals to Tigers? Is yes, that right? they have. Yep. So they're, they're edging, edging, edging back, aren't they? Yep, they certainly are, Jack. Rewalt calls them in here at the forward end and says this is the way we're going. So they've kicked four of the last five goals, the last three in a row. Close as they've been since the first quarter. And have another look at the, at the free kick and may have been a little bit lucky to get it, but they have been peppering the ball inside 50 and Rewalt. He was important just prior to that by bringing the ball to ground. And that's what these sides built off. Just continue. They don't get outmarked. They don't want to be outmarked. They want that ball to come to ground. They want to cause chaos. So ready to go with two minutes left in the quarter. And that'll be recalled. Really, as Daisy said, that Jew here tonight heavy. Grass has cut really short, isn't it? Magnificent condition. Oh, Noble. superb. Nothing here for 10 weeks. Grundy out of the middle. High footy. Goes really deep. One on one there. Crimes did exceptionally well. Hooley, Sharp, Baker, Prestia. They're all involved. Lovely Martin G. Weren't there some good names in that? Martin from half back. Quickly getting back the Pies defence. Martin hammers the ball long. Lynch wanted to jump it and Soldo was left to do it. Knocked down to Prestia. Prestia to Cotchen. Cotchen's got the kick away. Lynch has got to beat a couple here. In the air. Well done, Roughhead. He did not panic. And he found the boundary. So the biggest margin of the match, 24 points. So back within a kick and a half. 36 minutes since Collingwood's last goal. Richmond tightening the screws. Just saw the value of Grundy a moment ago when he rucked and robed the ball out of the centre square, didn't he? And immediately put Richmond on the back foot. Cotchen, Graham, Baker Belting not getting it very high. Revolt again making a contest. That is a really, really good mark by a bloke that does it so well, doesn't he? Yeah. I do feel like Richmond are the more likely team to score. Having said that, Collingwood could take it the length of the field here, but just to me, it feels like they're more likely to score at the moment. Collingwood just have to get through that wall. If they get through the wall, then all of a sudden the game opens up, but this is what the Tigers love. And they've taken them off at a game, the Tigers here. They've done really well across the middle, as you say, Wayne. They can't get through this wall. Martin, did he touch it on the ground? And Pai said yes, on to Prestia. Handball back out to the left foot of Hooley. And that's the worst kick of his life. He can't believe he's done it, but it doesn't matter. It works for them. Little handball back inside to Prestia. Gives the handball off to Martin. Martin from 50 metres! And misses to the right-hand side. And I'm not sure what the goal umpire is thinking here. That was clearly taken behind the line, I thought. Where it's behind, you can check and see if the ball was marked before it crossed the line. Score review, umpire's call is a behind. Please check that it wasn't marked before going. So you won't see it from that angle, the drink-wise score review. We'll need the side-on angle to tell us, but it did look from the naked eye like he was over the line when he marked it. Having a look at the screen on the left. Tweet. Looking at these angles, we can see the ball was clearly marked before crossing at the back of the behind wow. line. Decision on the scoreboard. It is a mark for Wow! Wow! Gee, this is going to give the Tigers a shot at goal with 22 seconds Mark. left. Jeremy, Jeremy, back now. The Jack, Jack, right on the line. So right Higgins, on the right on the line, said umpire yeah. Matt Stevick. Right foot yeah. banana, left foot run around. 22 seconds. So Higgins plays on, left foot around the corner. Gee, that's good. Gee, that's good. Won't they get to him? Won't they get over there and congratulate him? The Tigers are within two points.
So four Richmond goals in a row, and Jack Higgins can't believe it. Skillfully done. And they're within two points. Crazy. We've seen some good left foot goals today, haven't we? Tonight. Yep. yep. And I love it, PT. That's you're, why you. Well, you're a left foot artist. You just love it. <laughs> I know. Love it. Have well, a look at this. Have, this a, is... have another look. And the ball has to be oh. all the way over. She must have been really? uh, centimetres in it. Really? Or it was over. Really? <laughs> Bruce, help me, please. But don't you love the fact that he kicked it on his left foot? It's an easy shot. And he Bruce, did I see something or didn't I? <laughs> I've been waiting for a wowee all night, BT. I've been waiting for a wowee, Rob. Yeah. Goodness gracious me. It's a great result if you're a Tiger fan and maybe a little frustrating if you're a Pie. So Cochin out of the centre. So 24 points reduced to two. Bolton, Noble, got through. Back to Lynch. Three goals in that second quarter. So, well, it is so well poised. Two very late goals for Richmond Duck brings them within a couple of points. Yeah, it does, and it was built off the pressure and the Richmond style that we know, and it's won them two premierships. They are a brilliant team, and right now, Collingwood have to find their way through this Richmond defence. They're right back in it. It is Collingwood at three-quarter time by two points. 5-4-34. The Tigers coming. 5-2-32. forward line very hard to get it out for the pies at the moment both the goey and martin in the starting middle. in the middle yep exciting isn't it here we go so we're blasting off here in the last quarter it's collingwood by two points were they in a bit of quicksand at the end of that third quarter or have they got something left we're about to find out because richmond have professionally clawed their way back into this contest after conceding four first quarter goals pendlebury long handball to go, he had to stop as Hurley was coming at him. Shot the handball off to Prestia. Prestia goes long and wide. Lambert gave away Hollywood. the three. And it'll be Braden I'll Maynard at half back. Duck, we've talked I'll about Collingwood maybe a quick set. Side bottom's a good example. I mean, so dominant, wasn't he, yeah. in the first half? Yeah. Haven't seen much of him after half time. Just one of the. There he is on a cue. There, there you go, right. On cue, uh, in his defence, uh, no most problem. of the ball was in Richmond's forward line in that in that third term, and it's Where just a mind? battle because of this this enormous pressure that the Tigers put on. When they do win it, it's that rush kick out. Grundy over the top, Pendlebury working hard. Edwards gets a little bit of mileage. See, Dacos has been clever in his touches. Crisp held up, held up. Thanks, and the ball up. You, you yeah. boys have done well tonight with Brody Crisp and the Goey and Howe, yeah. all with the Perox lot in here. There's a lot of blondies out on. there, Bruce. They all look the same. Lambert, they do. What's happened with the hairdressing fashion over the summer? Lambert, little soccer, Maynard there as well. There's one of them to Goey, shoving it out. Maynard quickly, Pendlebury, being 91% effective by foot tonight. That was an effective kick as well, although Brown couldn't get on the end of it. Here's Jaden Short, talk about effective kicks. Gave the handball to Edwards, Edwards to Lynch! Couldn't mark, rough head, just able to knock it away. Gee, he very nearly held that for long enough. Oh, you can see there, Dimmer Hardwick having a little smile. Oh, oh boy. We see kick, free kicks given for a lot less. <laughs> he had a fair bit of a didn't he? Oh. Pendlebury cut off by Asprey. Lynch's second quarter was telling as we look back. Cotchin a lot of the ball tonight. That's a good kick. Castagna caught the high one. Haven't seen a lot of Jack. He's done some good team things. Kicks to the top of the square. Howe tries to belt it away. Pendlebury. And he'll be happy enough with that, although it means that the Tigers are with the points. So Pendlebury's leapfrog side bottom, so he's up to 26, the skipper. Yep, he's been very impressive again. Tonight it's Pendlebury. So is this guy here, Maynard, finished fifth in their best and fairest last year. And that's a good kick, because this is where, this is where they get squeezed. 
This next kick in the first quarter, they were able to find short options. Now they have to go long down the line. Dacos does exactly that. Great mark. And good mark oh, back into the pack by Adams. Immediately to his feet. Finds the boss, the skipper. Will become the game's record holder at the Collingwood Footy Club later this year. Take that man off from the great Tony Shaw. As Chris goes out wide now, there's another peroxide in Howe. They're starting to move it forward, and there's an original, perhaps a natural blonde in Noble. Now they go once again. They're everywhere. High ball, calling it a tackle, all the up with a fist. Did well. Concedes the behind. Duck, you've started something. Yes. <laughs> this, this, a blondie, you've started something. Beats he's a dog with a bone now. <laughs> I'm onto it. So Hooli. Funny old kick. He's had a couple of those tonight. That one under pressure. To go in, to go in. Oh! It's been an almost night. And he's had four shots on goal to go. Yeah, four shots on goal for two behinds. And they're the half chances that normally he take makes the most of. And did you hear yeah. the Collingwood fans then when he missed? <laughs> they were very, very angry. High footy. Lynch again knocks the ball down. There's Dekoe again. Head over at Phillips Cotton. Like a dog with a bone went and got it dragged it back in. Graham tries to whip it out. Tight ball to be won. It's not moving. Anyone's footy. Gee, hard footy. Oh, hey, got Collingwood. Phillips high. And it's a Phillips free here from 50. Too far out. Has kicked two tonight. Too far, you think, Doug? I, I think it's too far for him. He's got a huge run up, so he knows he needs momentum if he can get anywhere near it. Phillips from 55 doesn't try, puts it to the square. Soldo will mark uncontested in the end. Well, in the end, it was a poor kick, wasn't it? Because it, Soldo was the only one in that position. And Duck, you said immediately he was too far out, didn't yep. you? So Collingwood would have known that as well. So Castagna. It's such a long time since the Pies have kicked a goal. Strong hey, mark by Grundy. How have you seen a duck, Grundy uh, and Soldo? Yeah, it's, it's actually been a really good battle. Grundy, we know, is capable of getting 20, 25 disposals. Only had the 13 at the moment, so he's battled well, Soldo. Chris, Cotchen, so much of the ball. Hurley, they're out. Pressed it with a careful, careful kick. There is Soldo, second effort. Oh, he should have left it for Martin. Didn't quite, and then Howe and Martin, we've called him a lot tonight, BT, in the same set. We have Castagna to Lambert, Lambert kept it rolling, here they go, Lynch, led to the ball here by Ruffhead, needs a good bounce, under real pressure now, Rioli. And over the line, and out of bounds it goes, and something else I've noticed about those blondes is they're all heavily tattooed. <laughs> two things in common, Bruce. So you can go and have two things done at once, BT. Yeah. That's the one-stop shop for the Collingwood Blondes. Boundary throw-in. Three-point game, Collingwood. Here's one of them, Crisp. One of their most reliable. Goes wide. That was Dacos. No, it was Brown in front. And his brother came in for assistance as well. The second gamer in Cameron got the kick away straight to Kua Richmond. Short now, long ball. Gee, that was a little push from Lynch. Umpire didn't see it. Lynch goes for his fourth goal. Can't get it. Gee, was that a little nudge duck or not? Yeah, a little bit of a, a hand or a forearm BT. We'll get another look at it here. Yeah, a little bit of a hand. Free kick. You can see that. Clear hand in the back. Un unlucky rough head. So the pies. Chris floats it through. Vloston wins the battle against Brown. Kick by Vloston. He had a couple of choices. Castagna getting busier, and that's a high ball, so Lynch or Revolt would be the main target, you would think. Both fly high, Main got his head over the ball, Richmond able to hold it there. Such a low-scoring match, I mean, I know it's Dewey, I know both defences are set up well, I know it's a shortened game, but this is low-scoring. Take all that into consideration, Grundy, and Lynch to kick a fourth! No, nope. touched on the way through. Yeah, ten goals collectively kicked tonight. Was that Howe again there with the smother? I think it was, Doug. Good player, isn't he? Yeah. Got better as the years have rolled past. 
Jeremy Howe. Very confident in his own ability. Short ball finds Crisp. Crisp does the safety first thing. Hugs the boundary line. There's Dacos, fiddled out the little oh, handball to Elliott, advantage paid, bounce through the middle, this is a good run, runners out wide, Taylor Adams, plenty of time to send it inside and he finds an opportunity oh, here. Oh, and it's Phillips again. again and he's looking for his third goal. <laughs> and he's that extra 10 metres closer than what he was when he put that last one to the top of the square. 50 minutes since Collingwood's last goal. And Phillips was that goal kicker when he kicked his second to put Collingwood up by a game high 24. Now Collingwood lead by just two. Phillips from 48 and he got too close to the man on the mark and yanked it with a horrible, horrible kick. Sure, what he was doing there. Clearly he, he thought that he was too far out again. He's undone some of that good work, hasn't he? I mean, that's a big, big miss, really. 50 minutes since a Collingwood goal. They've had some chances. Pendlebury, so clever. Adams, after he got the handball from Phillips. Just think also, in this shortened season, every match is even more important, isn't it? I mean, to get to two and zip is a massive start. Martin, out wide, takes a bit of a chance. That is a good mark by a bloke who can take a good mark in my check and help me duck. Has he got the length here, my well, check? We saw him, we saw him have a, a, a shot from a similar distance. Well, sorry, he didn't have a shot. And then we saw in that third term where he played, tried to play on. So he thought he was too far out. So he's... Well, this to give Colin would have been a bit of... Yeah, sorry, Doug. And what you don't want is this to get touched right on the line. This to give Collingwood a bit of breathing space in a low-scoring game, not going to get there. That's a good result. Yeah, get a stoppage, yeah. yeah that's exactly a good result. So the Richmond box. Justin Lepich on the right-hand side there. Boundary throw in deep in Collingwood's attack zone. With only seven and three-quarter minutes left, it can tick over very, very quickly, because remember, you can hold on to the footy for a couple of minutes. Here's Phillips again, little one along the ground, picked up by Prestia. Prestia's ball to Noble, couldn't trap it on the half volley. Martin, incredibly safe handball to Lambert, Lambert to Lynch, come a long way up. Rewalks down the line if he wants him. Short wanting it near the interchange. Lynch says no. I'm going to keep going down the line, and he does. High footy. Rewalt's got to beat a couple. Over the top it goes. Almost got out the back door and into dangerous territory. And Madgen holds it up. They got what they wanted, the Tigers, but just a little bit slow from Lynch. He did have the one-on-one -on -one down the line. Grundy engaged early with Soto. Side bottom, terrific. Dacos sprays that one. He hasn't they wasted too many. Off. Only short to Hooli. Usually good with ball in hand for him. Decides to unload. Again, Lynch and Revolt. And Jack read it so well. Lynch to decoy duck. And Revolt in the right spot at the right time. He read has it. he had a shot on goal, duck or not? Can I don't you remember think he has. having a shot on goal? No. I don't think he's had a set shot, that's no. for sure. It's just just his it. second mark, Bruce. Yeah, so. First set shot on goal, and this to put Richmond in front. They're all worried about Lynch, weren't they? Yep. Looks good. Looks good. Is it holding the line? I'm not sure if it didn't get there. Can you? How far out was he beaten? Oh, he was only 35 metres out there, but I think he, he was more worried about steering it through, and he didn't give it enough boot. In the end, from Jack Rewalt there. Here's Hurley, doesn't matter. They're going to come again, the Tigers here broad. You can see them. They're mounting a challenge. There's no doubt about it. Graham, handball along the line. Colin 
Hayward. Can they rip it out of here quickly? Phillips absorbed the punishment. Dacos been good tonight. Little handball to side bottom. Side bottom keeps it alive. Here they go. Punch away. Off the hands of Hawley. Callum Brown through heavy traffic. Got one high. Plays on. Gives it to Dacos. Two great names at Collingwood. Long ball forward. Grimes. Brilliant job, Grimes. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm back here. Duck, I'm still trying to get my head around Jack Revol. Yeah. yeah, BT was right. He just tried to guide it through. I think he thought he had the distance covered easily and didn't need to kick it hard. So Collingwood hanging on. A big fly at the back came from Castagna and a boundary throw in. So five minutes remaining here. Much like the third quarter, Wayne. Right, I mean, it took so long for goal to be kicked. I mean, Higgins got that late one, so, and then Bolton, so here is Lynch. Neat looking kick, has the weight, Higgins and Noble, free kick. Contact. That was a good kick from Lynch, wasn't it? Yeah. A good kick, but you, when the Tigers go forward, when the Tigers win it from half back, they're going inside, uh, Collingwood are standing up brilliantly, by the way, but... They seem to be doing it a little bit easier from centre forward or half back going through, as you saw on that occasion. So, 40 metres out. Is it coming back? Is it coming back? So, a one point ball game. Next goal wins. I think in this game, there's one goal left in it in this just under five minutes. Next goal wins the game. In my book, more from full back. Long ball looking for Cameron. Didn't quite mark. Now he's got to get rid of it. He did out the back. Edwards was waiting. Penalty, good pressure. Martin to push off on Dacos. Dribbled it. Good ground gained by Dustin Martin. So now the boundary throw in deep in the Richmond Darcy, attack. Darcy, you going up? Darcy, you going up? Darcy, are you going up? Yes, Darcy, top. It's a niche. So Collingwood, what will be about 53, 54 minutes since Darcy, a Collingwood goal. Here's the, the numbers there for those that have done some hard yards, so to speak, tonight. No surprises there. Top three all elite runners. So Leach, rocking and roving, Koch and twisting and turning. That's a good tackle by Adams. That's a big win for Collingwood. Let him yeah, go. Well done by Taylor Let him Adams. Go. So four minutes, under four minutes now. Next goal wins the game. It's that simple. There's a goal left in it. Collingwood are about a minute and a half away from being able to hold the ball if they're still in front. Penderbury's handball was smothered. Ball near the boundary line and a chance to regain their composure here for both sides. 3.41, one point game. Collingwood, can one of the stars get it done? To Goey Martin, Grundy, on the run was Lambert. Dacos the tackler, spills to Martin, left foot punch away by Jeremy Howe. And superb again. You can see uh, Lambert there, he was in the, was in the top group. The Telstra tracker in in uh, kilometres covered, and you saw him there hit that ball at real pace at that stoppage. So Grundy works to the front. Martin appealing. He's had an almost night, Dusty, hasn't he? And to go, he's a bit similar, an almost night. So to go in with 16 and Martin with 20, Bruce. Yeah, and BT still time for one of them, maybe, to have the last say. So Pressy is up and under. High footy, up they fly. Lynch, look at Bolton, got through traffic. Magnificent from 55 metres out. Open goal square, needs a good bounce. Castagna, and how rushes. So scores are level. Scores are level with three minutes remaining. Get your head around BT last time these two played a draw. They played a few games against one another. 
So a boundary throw in. So Revolt there with that missed opportunity in the final turn. Both teams have had chances in front of goal. So I said next goal wins, Bruce. I reckon next score wins now. Well, getting closer by the second. Collingwood almost an hour between the last goal and where we are right now. Stack twisting, turning. Side bottom. Such a brilliant first half. Kick out wide. And another stoppage. Of two and a half minutes remaining. And that's a great kick from side bottom because if that's in play, the Tigers take that away. That Basha Hurley back there as a spare. And the oh. Tigers getting repeat entries. Oh, oh, oh. Have we got a cracker? Scores level. Last two and a half minutes of the game. Meyer Jeff trying to crash his way through. Howard's there. Dekoe's there. Martin's there. All the superstars are there. Cochin as well. Prestia. Side bottom. You call a name. And they're all brilliant. Well battle. And they know next score wins. BT. One draw between the two clubs. One draw. June 16, 1917. Goodness. More than 100 years ago. Gracious me, Bruce. You have had nothing to do on your holiday. <laughs> that is for sure. Stevi throws it up. Soldo. Oh, three goes Soldo's way. So we're down to the last one minute 50. That's a big three kick in the ruck, isn't it? Just had the jumper. As soon as they held the jumper. Move it on. Soldo. Yeah, always pay it. Short little sideways ball finds Bolton. No good taking your time. Someone's got a score. Bolton now, deep inside 50. Can they get a score out of this? Moore flies with a fist. Go to go, he was in there. Graham got the handball. Pressed the other little fumble. Castagna, main, risky handball. Did it well. Graham to Maynard and Maynard to Noble. And then Noble down the line, side bottom, well done. They've played this well all night, kind of all Pendlebury there. Soldo held up, back to Graham. Lambert, a little fumble. Noble across the body. Twist it, there they are. They're the two of them together. Dusty and Ngoi. Nothing much happened though. Ma rather, main back to no to Goey. To Goey down the line. Lost it over the top. Hooley keeps his poise. BT, 50 seconds remaining. Oh, Bruce, you couldn't believe it's gone down to the last 40 odd seconds. Handball for Collingwood out the back door. One last chance for them to attack. Can Richmond lock it in or can Collingwood get it out? 35 seconds and ticking. Taylor Adams on the half back line. Can he go? Can he find someone free? Sneaky little kick. Scores a level. 25 seconds and ticking here at the moment. Got to go quick, the pies. Ball out wide, it's going to come back. So Richmond are going to get another chance. Asprey, little kick along the ground. They keep it alive, Collingwood. Go back inside. Here's Thomas, little kick, right foot. Brown, Callum Brown's going to take the mark. No, he's not. Can he score? What a tackle from Flofton. What a tackle from Flofton. Is there left, Bruce? How long? How long? How long? Time for you to say, goodness gracious me, only the second time they've had a draw. The first was in June 16, 1970. You've got it, Peter. It set the weekend up. It set the rest of the season up. And maybe, Duck, the next time we see these teams play, it might be, or well, who knows, the last Saturday in October or Sunday or whatever. Oh, that, that, absolutely incredible. And, and Collingwood, how brave. Richmond really dominated, I thought, the second half, PT. They had all the ball going inside 50. And Collingwood's defence just stood up. They stood strong. They were great. And they were fantastic to hang on to a draw. And, well, it's been one of those years, let's be honest. Should we be surprised? No. It has been an unusual year. And it's an empty feeling, isn't it? And it's only just started. And the two coaches, not sure what to think. You can just see Nathan Buckley there and Damien Hardwick. No one likes draws. No. What do we think? There's no winner out of this, is there? 
no. pr pretty obvious thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> Superstars everywhere. <laughs> Gee, Bruce, it's been a great.